It is uh, Wednesday on the uh, Warrior Wheel with Wiley. We're missed a few days and uh, anyhow, we'll get into it. Um, so, first of all, it's Inauguration Day. Congratulations, Democrats. You won. Um, it's now official. You have Your, your elected individual in office. Congratulations. Um, I pray that he does good for the country as a whole. I pray that he... I pray that he doesn't just try to heed everything that everybody wants and winds up screwing us over in the long run. So anyhow, we're going to just skim right over that one. Anybody wants to talk about it, we can talk about it. That's fine. I don't care. I'll talk about anything with anybody. I'll probably be wrong about a lot of things, and I might be right about some things. I don't know. You don't know if you don't talk about it, right? Right. Okay. So, let's get into the whole reason why I made two videos, was going to start making them daily on my uh, drive home, and then all of a sudden, didn't make any more videos. Of course, you know, I'm, I don't got like a total of three followers or something along that line so it doesn't really matter i'm sure there's not a whole lot of y'all missing me but hopefully we can change that so talk about close contacts okay the whole inside of a six foot bubble and i guess that the inside of a six foot bubble is for longer than 15 minutes now 15 minutes is it's a good amount of time. Um, you've got to have a pretty heavy conversation with somebody in order to be around them for 15 minutes or longer. Shoot, even making these videos, I've noticed that I usually run out of stuff to say at about six minutes long. Uh, I'm not real great at talking to myself or anything along those lines. I, I do like conversation. But also have gotten a lot of reward from making these little videos. It helps me kind of relax and decompress uh, from the day. But so I found out that you know, with close contacts you don't you don't want them. But in my line of work a lot of times you have to work with somebody pretty close. So um there's a good possibility that you could be a close contact to somebody. So, and then they, they, they ask you, do, do you, you know, within the last week? All right, well, there's only a few people in my department, and if I help one, one co-worker one day, another co-worker the next day, and another co-worker the day after that, then now in that week's time frame, I have now worked with my entire department and, excuse me, could have now officially infected the entire department, and then we all get sent home, which is what happened, by the way. Um, but anyhow, that's aside from the point. So we all got sent home, we all had to self-quarantine, uh, then they... Uh, you had to go take a test, and once you, you know, tested negative, then they'll let you come back to work. I'm like, okay, that's fine, whatever. But when I get back to work, I get questioned about the fact that I listed multiple people. Well, you guys said within six feet, whether I wore a mask or not. some people. Originally, the person that I was supposed to be a close contact with, um, I don't really even think I was a close contact with. So, it, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all silly. Um, yes, there are people dying from it. Yes, I do believe that COVID-19 is a real virus. 
worse. Do I think it's as bad as it has been made out to be? No. I think it's on the level of flu, maybe a little bit more contagious, but that's it. And I think the lockdowns was the dumbest thing we could have done because that slowed down our ability to develop herd immunity. Um, think about flu seasons, a good friend of mine and I had a conversation about this and you think about why is there a flu season? Well, every year there's a new flu vaccine. You don't just get the same flu vaccine every year. Every year they have to update the virus, find out what strain it is, and then they have to build a vaccine to combat that strain of the flu. Well, think about how long is between flu seasons. There's a period of time there where people get sick there towards the beginning and then at the end people stop getting sick because they've started taking the vaccine or we've started to build herd immunity regardless of whether or not you take the vaccine. So, the theory on this deal is that we've kind of screwed up by quarantining everybody and not letting everybody have the opportunity to get the disease. And, you know, I'm not like saying like it's an opportunity that you don't want to miss because I've heard some pretty bad stuff about it. And there's been some friends of mine that have gotten really sick, but they've all survived. And 98% of the people that get it survive. A lot of them don't even end up in the hospital. So, anyhow, close contacts. I come back to work. Now I'm in trouble because I've listed a lot of people. They're like, oh, you shouldn't have listed that many people. I'm like, well, maybe I misunderstood what a close contact is. Because I said I didn't have any close contacts. And then I kept getting questioned and questioned and questioned and probed that, um, are you sure? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure, but you're starting to make me second guess it. I'm like, well, does it matter if I had a mask on? No, it doesn't matter if you had a mask on. Oh, well, now see, that that opens up some possibilities. Because if I have a mask on, and I kind of thought that that really kind of negates the whole close contact thing. But apparently it doesn't. Um, I, I don't know that anybody really knows what negates the close contact or what keeps you from being a spreader or not spreader or whatever. I, I, think it's, I think it's circumstantial as to what is good and bad in the scenario of the Rona. So, anyhow, after some clarification, I'm like, okay, so out of the people that I listed, there's like two that I would even really consider close contact, and that was because I had to, because, you know, I was working on some heavy stuff, a co-worker had to hold it so that I could do what I needed to do, and then put it back. So, I know I'm really vague, but some of the stuff that I work on is is not, um, I can't really talk about it a lot, so, but it's cool stuff, and I don't know, I really don't want to get my job involved in this stuff, even though I know, like, right now I'm talking about it, but I'm not mentioning them, and, uh, I don't really want to because it's it's not on them. It's it's they're they're being pressured to to do things in order to quote unquote keep the other employees safe and not you know they're they're having to CYA and I don't blame them on that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's you know it's it's the right thing to do from a business standpoint because if you don't cover yourself then you can end up in a lot of trouble and then you end up losing your business even though you are a a required business to keep blind camera what the heck they called it now it was it was a, a big deal at the beginning but now I can't even remember what the heck it's called but you're you're an important employee so um and then, then, you know, your business gets kept open, but yet you don't follow the procedures for what needs to be done as far as uh, keeping COVID free and all that jazz. So now you end up belly up because of all the lawsuits because you weren't following what you were supposed to do, and that's no good either. So 
there's a fine line between keeping your business open and not screwing anybody over or anything on that lines. But you also don't want to put other people's lives at risk either. Because there are some people that I'm sure are very susceptible to it. There's a lot of co-workers that are probably really, really susceptible to the virus. And they're probably in the high-risk category. So, anyhow. So, let's move on. Um, so, that's, that's, that's part one of the, the old worry wheel today. But, you know, I, I'm kind of over it. It's... I was frustrated this morning, but I'm feeling a little better about it now. Uh, talked about it a little more now. I feel even better about it. Uh, so, um, man, I don't know. I really want to try and make this a little longer. Like, you know, get to that 15-minute mark or something to that effect. Um, I'd really like to grow the channel. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can just, we just have just common folk just chatting and talking and y'all can put comments and, and down below and then I can reply I can make videos based off of comments you can give me some topics and then we can discuss about that um, I mean you know let's try and keep it somewhat clean or whatever I mean I know I'm not the cleanest mouth person I cuss every now and again but I don't really want to I mean, I don't want to get into, like, a raunchy channel or nothing like that. It's just, the whole idea of this was just for me to just do a brain dump. But, you know, I mean, hey, I can do a little brain dump, and then we can have a second half of the conversation be, you know, uh, what y'all want to talk about. I, I don't know. Um, either way, it'd be fun. It's kind of fun. I, I kind of enjoy I definitely need to come up with some way to hold this phone because, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm driving. I'm driving standard so it's, it's not easy to do this that's why most of this is highway and all of that stuff so it, it, it ends up working out pretty good because for the majority of the time the the length of the video fits in just fine with the amount of time i have open highway and i don't have to do a whole lot of shifting or anything like that it's just changing lanes so um but yeah so uh you know, I mean, what are we going to talk about here, you know? Do I, do I change the name a little bit here from Worry Wheel to, you know, working it out with Wiley? I, I don't know. I kind of like the whole Worry Wheel with Wiley because, just you know, it's just www, www, www. Um, I, I don't know. Um, uh, I think I'm, I'll probably stick with the Worry Wheel. I don't know. It's just, it, I'm just chatting about it. Um... You know, there's there's a lot of things going on in the world that, that man we can all we can all talk about. And you know, I'm a I'm a pretty conservative guy, and I like my I like my conservative views, and that's that's kind of the way it is, and that's that's the way I'm gonna continue to be. But um, you know, I'm not gonna not listen to somebody's opinion. I mean, it's, a, hey, it's your opinion. I'm putting my opinion out here right now. So, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't agree with my thought process. They think, oh my God, you should be wearing a mask right now. If you're in your car, you should be wearing a mask because COVID can come in through the vents and get you. Now, I'm, not, I'm not on board with that one. Sorry. Even if I'm in the car with somebody else, I'm not wearing a mask. I'm sorry. Most of the time, the people that I'm around, I'm going to be around anyhow. And if I got COVID, they're going to get COVID. And if they got COVID, I'm probably going to get COVID. But I'm probably going to survive. Just like the other 98% of the daggum population that survived. That's another, You know, there's there's another thing there. Okay, so now here's, here's my question. Okay. There's all these numbers about the people that have caught COVID. The people that have died from COVID. But there's no numbers, nobody's talking to anything about the people that survived it or that have recovered. Like, I, I think I've seen it brought up maybe twice on the number of people that have recovered. And it's a large percentage of people have recovered from COVID. Why isn't that talked about? Why? 
why why don't more people want to hear that information? Like I, I don't know. I think that would be kind of a a a, a leg up that make me hopeful. It would you know it would make it seem like what we're doing you know with having to shut all of these places down and to wear a mask every time you turn around and everywhere you go and you can't go certain places at certain times and stuff like that would make all of that stuff seem worth it because then it would be like oh okay it's working but instead all we hear about is like that well there's still more covid deaths and there's still people that are getting infected and it's still spreading rampant and oh now there's a new strain because there's no herd immunity so then it makes you just be like well what the heck have i been doing why have i been Wearing this daggum mask for all these months. Whenever wearing the mask didn't do no good, people were still just spreading it like wildfire. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, maybe a little positivity in the world. You know, like, uh, like a, hey, we're doing great. You know? Uh, sure, there's a lot of people that still caught COVID, but by golly, we had... We had 500 people that caught COVID today, but we had 1,000 people recovered from COVID. Hey, that's a good that's that's good news. That's positivity. We need some more positivity in the world. Um, boy, my lord, I'm just are we really gonna go to this whole mask thing all the time? I don't want to wear a mask all the time, man. I like seeing people smiles. I miss people smiles. That's something I hadn't thought about. I miss being able to just smile at somebody. You ain't got to, you didn't have to say anything to them. You could just walk by and maybe brighten somebody's day with a smile. You can't do that anymore. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Well, you know what? I, we're not going to end on that note. We're not going to end on that. We're just gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna end on a positive note because, you know what, we're not promised tomorrow, but by golly, I'm grateful for today. And even though it's a little overcast and kind of dreary today, I've still got good health. I'm still able to uh, get up and go to work. I got good family and friends, and uh, the crazy car driving beside me. <laughs> um, and it's just, you know, it's it's a good day. It's a good life. It's a day the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. So, you know, I'm going to wrap this video here. And I'm going to thank the three people that are following me. You know, you know, uh, my number one fan and my number two fan and my number three fan. And uh, I want to thank everybody. And I... You know, I ain't nobody probably paying no attention to none of this because uh, it may never. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to keep trying. We're going to keep kicking along here. And I'm doing this for me. And if some of y'all enjoy it, join in. Let's chat about it. Give me some ideas. Give me some stuff you want to hear my opinion about. And uh, give me your opinion. Well, give me something to chat about. All right? Thank you. This has been a Worry Wheel with Wiley. And uh, we're just going to pack it away for today. And I'm going to go enjoy some time with my family. I'm actually going to pick up some dinner. And then I'm going to go join time with my family. So uh, I love y'all. And uh, put your worries in the wheel and walk in the door. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.